So the new Sims game pack, Dream Home Decorator, comes out today. And up until yesterday, I hadn't had any issues with the pack. No glitches, nothing like that. Everything was fine. And then I tried to stream it yesterday, and for some reason I got the curse, and my Sim simply could not get paid, the gigs were glitching, like it was not going very well. I had heard from some friends that they had issues like that, but I hadn't seen any of it until yesterday. So today I was gonna try and make a video doing rags to riches with the pack, but now I'm not so sure that's a good idea. <laughs> Perhaps we'll wait until they patch it, which hopefully is soon because they released a bugged pack. Kind of ridiculous, but you know, at least the build stuff is good, right? But actually though, the build stuff from this new game pack is some of my favorite we have ever gotten. I've been building a lot this weekend with it, I'm not gonna lie. And I have an idea because they've added a bunch of new bunk bed options, a bunch of new loft options, a bunch of really small furniture, like really small nightstands and stuff, but they've also added a new countertop oven. And this is where my idea comes in. This could be if this could be super useful for tiny homes. Because instead of having to have a separate oven, a separate fridge, and a counter to have a functional kitchen, I think it might be possible to do it like this and have that be a fully functional kitchen. So your Sims won't have a stove top, but the way this works now is that if your Sim only has an oven or only has a stove, they'll only be able to make recipes that only use an oven. Sort of like how before, if you only had a fridge and one counter, you could only make fruit salad and regular salad because you couldn't like cook anything. Now, if you just have the oven, you can't like make grilled cheese on the stove or like scramble any eggs, but you could bake a cake because you don't need the stove top for that. So I want to see if it really is possible for my Sim to cook on this. <gasps> Okay, so obviously we can't make a bunch of the early stuff, but you can cook all of this. Bake a cake! Okay, this is a game changer for tiny houses. Interesting. Okay, now if this is all slotted underneath a bunk bed, does it still work? That I am not so sure about. I wonder if I scoot it like really far forward under the bunk bed? I'm gonna find out. <gasps> Aww. Dang it! <laughs> okay, she can use the fridge. I wonder if the counter was further forward, if she could use it? No, you can do it. You're brave and you're strong. You can do it. I wonder at what point, like, she becomes able to. <laughs> you can cook under the stairs sometimes, too. Okay. That far forward works. Do you know what? The fact that you can stick the fridge and the oven underneath there, though, for, like, bunk beds in dorms, that's so useful. Oh, my face cam's not being recorded. <laughs> Look, I'm back now. I didn't realize- I didn't- <laughs> Oops. Okay, well anyway, today I want to try and make a tiny home, taking advantage of some of these new things and trying to cheat the system to the best of our abilities. I think I like the idea of putting like the TV underneath the bed and having a couch there. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm just here to shrink things. Okay, I'm thinking we make it a micro home because that's easy. 32 tiles, if we're gonna do it like this small, that's no problem. That's 24 tiles. Do you know what? Making a micro home is not gonna be that hard. I don't even need all 32 tiles, I'll be fine. Because I'm thinking the bathroom could go like that, Kitchen could be over here. Bed, couch, I don't know, like this is already too big almost. <laughs> like at this rate, it's genuinely too large. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I know I'm a little bit biased, <laughs> but I, I've got a vision, okay? I want it to be really small. It's probably gonna end up being really cheap too, because it's so small. Then if we use like that bed, does it come in black? Hmm, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> what other options do we have? I don't like that one. That one's a bit simpler, but I kind of like the pattern on the bed. I think I'll do it like this. We can use the new door. Okay, so yesterday on my stream, people in chat, because it was early access, it was like the first day people were seeing the game, really people were asking me questions like, oh, how much does the door cost? You know, like how many swatches are on so and so, you know? So I answered the question. They were like, how much does that door cost? And I very nonchalantly was like, oh, it's 75,000. And I just kept playing the game, didn't even think about it. And they were like, whoa, 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 sorry, what now? <laughs> Because I had said it was 75,000. No, it's 75. I think I was trying to say 75 simoleons, but I fully was like, yeah, it's 75,000. And then just didn't acknowledge what I had said and just was like, yeah, what? <laughs> That's a little bit on the pricier side, Kayla, actually. I might make the house even small. Oh my god, what if the kitchen- wait, I hadn't even considered this. But the kitchen? Is that weird? <laughs> I think that's really weird, isn't it? I think this is like better suited, this like tiny kitchen business, for when you have it like this somehow, because that's functional. But if we're gonna stick it in the corner, we could have had a full-size fridge. That's not a good idea. <laughs> we, we should probably get like a bigger- I don't know, I might just look at all the modular stuff, because we could probably hang up some sort of closet in here as well. Like, if we try hard enough. Or, oh, we could use, like, this thing. That looks like it's completely built in. Oh, it kind of clips. <laughs> Oops. Okay, switch it to- oh, that's too tall. Oh, they're both that tall. Oh. Do you think the bed still works? 
Um, yeah, that might be best. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it like this. Oh, do the TVs not slot onto that? I guess that's technically a cabinet. We can totally put the TV there. That makes perfect sense. Mmm, that may be slightly too big. <laughs> I keep going back and forth with the size of this place. I want to use the new sink. I think that's my, my line. I insist upon using the new sink. <laughs> Obviously, we can use the university shower. I'm not sure. I don't- I think that, like, that could probably be made to work, but I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna let it be three tiles. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm just gonna let it be three. And we have this tiny window, so we can use that too. So at least the bathroom is not like, you know, windowless. <laughs> Wait, it would not be very smart to have like a full-size desk, would it? No, that would be dumb. Kayla, that would not be very smart. Okay, but now I'm wondering, like, what if we had Kitchen Island? <laughs> we only have one seat at the island. <laughs> I mean, look, there's nothing wrong with that. Put a laptop. Oh, can you not put laptops on the corner? Can my sim use that? Well, no, because there's no door. <laughs> Can't play test if there's no door. Play Blick Block. Okay, well, she can sit there. Can you watch the TV? No, you don't- you just started! What do you mean? Does she like video games? Oh yeah, she's fine. Okay. And then you can sleep. <laughs> no, she can't! Oh no! Why? Is it because of that? Really? It was because of this? Well, now I'm wondering, because we can probably slot the, like, dream home decorator dresser in there. Is that too high up? I'm just like, what if we don't bother with customizing and we just put the dresser? So now I'm upset because it was better before. <laughs> So I don't know what to do. <gasps> Wait, do you think that you can put- Do you think it still functions like that? I'm gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna see if it still works. I don't really care what fridge and stuff we use. That doesn't bother me. Oh, and well, we can just put it here like this. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just do it like that. Because your sims can definitely cook there. Okay. Do you think the TV will fit on that? <laughs> okay, no it won't. It's too big. We can do a little one. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> can she get up the bed now? You're kidding! Why? Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> and at that moment, I decided that the entire house needed to be redone. Oh, do you know what? Maybe it being a little bit more spacious will be better. You will sit in that, right? I was gonna say, we <laughs> we were gonna have a problem, me and you. What's your name? I was gonna say, me and you were gonna have a problem, but it's okay. She will sit in it. Well, now I want to see if she'll walk through there. Does this fit? Oh. I was gonna hope it was- it would fit in there. Technically it would, just by the way, I think. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's kind of cool. Let me see if she can get around now. <laughs> oh wait, I kicked her out of the- <laughs> I still don't have a door! I was about to get upset, but it's not her fault. Okay, you can sit in this. Okay, you can watch this. Okay, you can cook with this. Wait! <gasps> she uses this as a counter to cook too? So you could have a fully functional kitchen just like that? I was gonna say that like, honestly, cause- I have a kind of small kitchen. Like, I I cook on the stovetop like that. You're probably not meant to, but like, there's not a lot of counter space to work with. That's valuable counter space. Oh, I didn't know they would straight up use that like a counter. That's good to know for future tiny houses. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, roof looks a bit silly, but I'm fixing it. Oh, we could totally put a window in there. That's actually kind of cool. The idea of a window being like in the bed like that. It looks a bit weird from the outside, but like when are you gonna see the back of the house like that? So it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not my problem. This is so realistic. Like being able to hang up the clothes like that. Look, some blankets and or towels or something and then an extra basket. That makes so much sense. What if we did the windows like that? I kind of like it. I think the inside of this house is like actually really nice. How much does it cost? 11,000. Oh, wait. <laughs> front looks weird. Front looks weird. Hang on. Okay, it's a bit odd. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'm loving these separate stoves and ovens. That's so useful. That's like genuinely game-changing for every tiny house we've ever built. Oh, I didn't think about if she can get up the bed. Oh no! <laughs> the stupid couch! Couches do slot under here. It just makes me wonder if like maybe this couch doesn't slot under here. We have to pick a different couch. But look, it fully slots. Like you can put couches under this. You can use couches, just not the new ones. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Can we put plants? Oh, that fits perfectly down there. Oh, see, that's actually kind of cute. Okay. It's a fully functional house. There's just not much more that we can even put in here. Like, even if we wanted to. <laughs> There's only so much that we have access to. Okay, I'm gonna use the llama because I love it. Nothing else fits. The books, maybe? Ah, oh, that's boring. A pear? Perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to put in there. Oh, that could be better. That's like a, a bigger photo. I wish we had more little photos like that. They're good clutter items. Things like the pear and the apple photos. Like if we had like a little picture of a tree that you could like stick in a shelf. That's just nice clutter to have, you know? I wanted black vertical siding, but that looks weird, doesn't it? Because it's not as dark as the doors. Oh, that's the worst part of The Sims 4. Like sure we have a black swatch, but they're all different shades of black. And so it looks weird. And that's not what I'm going for. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to look like. I want it to look like this. This is cool. Okay, so I guess it's like no overhang. That's brown, not black. This is so weird. <laughs> 
looks really bad. Oh no. <laughs> Look at the picture makes it look so cool. And then ours looks like this. I feel like a loser. <laughs> like this just doesn't look good. It looks really weird. It's real goofy. I- Okay, well, we can use that. I'm gonna look a little bit like their house. What if ours was brick? And we let it have an overhang. Oh, we could use a wall mailbox from Snowy Escape. I'm not like good enough at landscaping to pull off this kind of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm not bad, but I'm also not really creative enough to do this. I feel like having some sort of yard is maybe a necessity. <laughs> I don't know. Can't figure out what I want it to look like though. Like I can't figure out what the path should be. Maybe that's fine. What if we had grass? <laughs> it looks so out of place. This is so out of place in the desert. It's kind of funny almost. Like why is that there? Why have I done that? Mm, just because I can. Oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. I kind of like this house. I have a lot of ideas for tiny homes. How much does this one cost? 15,772. That's not bad. To be fair though, you could get a lot more space <laughs> for that many simoleons. But you have a lot of perks living in a micro home like this, like less bills, double skill gain. So you could just have your sim sit here and like knock out working on their programming skill, double skill gain, and then move into a bigger house once you're rich. I mean, it's a definite perk. <laughs> tiny houses are fun. I like trying to make them functional. Even though for some reason your sim can't walk past a sofa under the ladder, even though for some reason your sim sometimes can't walk past a sofa, it's still kind of cool. And isn't the furniture in this pack so nice? Like even just the rug is one of my favorite things I've ever made. I think it's so nice. I just, I'm, I'm so excited. I love this pack. Like, aside from the glitches in the gameplay, that part is not good at all. We do not love that part. Before I go, I wanted to quickly tell you guys a little bit about what happened this month on my Twitch channel. So we were raising money all month for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital on Twitch, and at the end of the month, on Monday, our last stream, we ended up raising $316,000 total for St. Jude, which is like beyond my wildest dreams. I never thought anything even close to that was possible. So I want to thank you all again so much for helping me do this. We have raised so much money for those kids and their families, so thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And if you want to watch some of that back, I can link some of the streams down below. The early access stream for this pack was wild. We raised like $40,000 that day and also had a lot of glitches in the gameplay, but I can link that for you if you want to watch it. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I cried a lot when I got off stream on Monday. I'm just really emotional and really grateful and I, I think you're all pretty cool. So thank you for everything. Again, just thank you so much.